Hey everybody, welcome to the Whiskey Dictionary. So it's Friday, which means new video from the channel. However, I was originally going to do the old Forester 1920 this year. Got a little bit more busy than I expected. I uh, went and played a game of golf earlier tonight and I did abysmal. However, I did less abysmal than the person I was playing with. So at least there's that. But needless to say, I did not have time to film that episode, but I still wanted to give you guys some content this week. And I happen to have this bottle. Now, this is a bottle I actually picked up yesterday. I ended up meeting up with uh, another viewer, Jim Morris, from, uh, he's from the Discord. If you're in there, you've seen him for sure. Him and I met up at uh, Julio's Liquors and we exchanged some samples. And while I was there, I was like, you know what? I'm going to finally buy the Mellow Corn. And he actually ended up buying the Fighting Cock Whiskey upon my recommendation, which Jim, if you've tried it, I would love to hear your thoughts. So here's the deal with Mellow Corn. Mellow Corn and I have a little bit of a history. I've always been told by, and this is like years now, so I do say always, years I've been told that Mellow Corn was something I had to review on the channel. But every single person, various different people, when they told me this, I swear there was always just like a little smirk, you know, when they said it. And it made me think that they were setting me up to have a terrible whiskey. And this is $14. So it kind of fits in line. Now, I will say I've never had Mellow Corn whatsoever. True first taste here. This could be a giant joke to me, or it could be fantastic. I have no idea, but for $14, certainly worth the risk. So why don't we go ahead and open this up, talk a very short amount about this, because I'll do a real review of this eventually, but I do want to do the, the first taste. So first off, this is 100 proof, so 50%. It is bottled in bond, which means it's over four years old, and it's 80% corn because it's a corn whiskey. So very strange and made by Heaven Hill, which is promising. Um, I believe it was first made in 1943, which is a heck of a thing. So it's been around for a really long time, but it's only recently become a little bit more popular. Now, for those of you a little old school, does this not remind you of Mellow Yellow, the old soda? It, it totally does for me. And I, I'm wondering how old that label is. When I do my formal review of this, that's probably going to be something I research. I'm curious how long they've had this specific label. Anyway, all right, let's go ahead and give this a nosing and a tasting just so we can see if this is ultimately a joke and I'm going to be just doing a spit take here on camera or if maybe it's just a sleeper. So let's see. Cheers. <sighs> okay, so it smells like a corn whiskey, which it should. Um, very much sweet on the nose, a little bit of vanilla in there and a slight hint of oak. <sighs> Could be the color of the bottle influencing me, but I swear I smell a little bit of lemon in there as well. It's interesting how the brain works. Like I can't trust my own nose because I'm seeing a color, right? Like that doesn't, I don't know. That's weird. But there's definitely, a, it's, I think it's this, the overly abundance of sweet that is coming across as that lemon to me. It's almost like a lemon, lemon, not lemon cake, like a lemon, like a lemon square. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. I like it. All right. So cheers, guys. Uh, hopefully this is as good as it smells, but certainly not as bad as the price. Cheers. Hmm. Hmm. That is not at all what I expected. Like at all. And the finish leaves a little bit to be desired, but not bad. Still going. Long and strong. Wow. Okay. So, flavor profile. <laughs> Super weird. Still like a long finish for days. Wow. And, and very much not an alcohol burn, considering 50% ABV. Um... I would say that what I'm getting from here is a little bit of like a butterscotch candy mixed with vanilla, mixed with a whole lot of corn sweetness. Very much not really any hint of an oak there in the flavor, but it is something you're going to think I'm crazy here. I swear there's like something reminiscent of a rye in here, but it's not at all a rye flavor. It's more just an inkling in my brain that's saying, hey, something's reminded me of, of a very unique flavor that I get out of rye. And I'm wondering if it's what some people consider like that dill pickle flavor. 
I am not much of a pickle eater. I, I just, I wish I did, but I just don't like pickles. So it's hard for me to say. Um, hmm. I could see this going really well with an ice cube, like really well, but it stands on its own. I am I am pleasantly surprised that this was not a, just a giant joke. Mellow corn is something that for $14, you should just go buy and go try it. If nothing else, you're going to add 750 mil of whiskey to your collection. So yeah, bizarre, super weird. How the heck is this as good as it is? Anyway. Well, thank you. I hope you guys are having an awesome summer. I'm having an awesome summer. Uh, I've been taking it a little easy on myself. So, you know, it's good and I'm enjoying it a bit. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I hope you have an easy Friday and a wonderful weekend. Cheers to you. And I guess that's it. Happy weekend. Cheers.